What's up guys? This is Chad with Living the Van Life up here in Washington. And I know, I know, most of you are thinking that I fell off the face of the earth. Well, I'm here to say that I haven't. I'm here in the flesh, but I will say that I have been hunkered down for the last month and a half to two months in dealing with this COVID-19 situation. I will say that I do have another video in the works currently, and that is from my road trip when I went out to the Grand Tetons National Park before this whole COVID thing came down. Well, this particular expedition here this morning might just be chalked up as a learning lesson. So I've been working hard at editing on that it's a pretty special episode, so I've been putting some extra special care into that to bring you guys the best possible content. So, be patient, it is coming. I know that this COVID thing really snuck up on us all, and I really hope that this has been a lesson in preparedness, because I can certainly say that it made me stop in my tracks and really reevaluate my preparedness and think about some things that I could do to make myself better prepared for these kind of situations that we just might not be expecting. I think we have all become so complacent in our daily lives in this modern world that uh, we don't put preparedness first. So anyways, tonight I am hunkered down here in the workshop out at the family farm where I've been hunkered down for the last month, month and a half. I've got a little bit of a product review that I want to sit down and go over with you guys with. So you know what? Why don't you guys grab a cold one and let's join together and let's talk shop. Let's talk about some of the tools that we use for being prepared. Uh, tonight, I'm gonna be enjoying some sips of Cazadores tequila. I know most of you guys know me as a whiskey guy, but I figured it'd be a good opportunity to switch things up a little bit, try something different. So tonight, it's tequila. And guys, here's to you. Cheers. Mmm. Now I am always talking about and illustrating and practicing good preparedness in my videos that I show you guys here on the Living the Van Life YouTube channel when I'm out in the snow, up in the wilderness, out on a van adventure. That is my number one concern is always being prepared. Having a flashlight is one of the most important key components to being prepared. And that I cannot preach enough. To me, it is just equally as important as having an ax, having a knife, etc. What we're going to talk about today is a new addition to van life. And that is where we're going to talk about the Olight Warrior X Pro. Olight is a brand that has been on my radar for the last couple years and I've been anxious to get my hands on some of their products and try them out firsthand. Now this video is not sponsored by Olight. However, these guys did reach out to me and see if I was interested in trying out some of the products and see how I might like using them in my van life adventures. I said, heck yeah, send them on over, let's give it a try. Now the cool thing about this particular Warrior X Pro is this is coming out in a new color line. This is a first time look at the Warrior X Pro and the desert camouflage color scheme. Now also with this new release, they are releasing a gunmetal gray. Anyways, let's get into this thing, see what it's all about. There's some other accessories. We'll get into that later. I'm just gonna set this aside. First off, we see the flashlight comes in a sheath. It is pretty impressive with how robust it is. We'll talk about it in a moment. But here, is the Warrior X Pro. As you can see, 
it's fairly compact actually. I mean, it fits in the hand well. To be honest with you, having this extra chimping on this actually makes for some nice grip. So I do appreciate that. That is kind of nice. Now the make of the body of this flashlight is aluminum alloy. We tap on it, we hear that metallic tap, and that's through the whole entire body. That's every component of that. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it feels good and heavy and robust like it would actually last. You know, when it comes to finding a good tool for van life, I wanna find something that uh, will withstand some of the tough measures that I put things through. I don't want anything that I've got a baby, so. This thing feels like it's pretty dang tough. So first off the bat, that's one thing I would note. It's got some decent weight to it. It's heavy, but not too heavy. I don't know. I like something that feels like it's got some weight behind it. That feels tough because I feel like if it was any lighter, then it might feel cheap. So this thing can withstand a drop from up to three meters. So that's impressive. I mean, it's definitely tough. So when you're out in the wilderness, you're hiking around in the woods, throwing around camp, you definitely want something that's gonna be pretty tough. Now, another thing that is part of the tactical aspect of a light like this is the bezel around the front here and the aggressive bezel that they've put on here. And that's part of the other reason why it's designed to fit so well in your hand like this, because this bezel can really become a bit of a self-defense uh, mechanism. These things are actually quite sharp and if you had to, in a grip like this, this could inflict some damage on somebody that was trying to cause some trouble for you. So something like this, where you can see what kind of damage that does here to the workbench. You can see what kind of beating that thing will take. This does have a waterproof rating of up to two meters submersible. So that's important, especially when it comes to van life, because a lot of times, I am up in inclement weather, out in the snow, in the rain, out fishing where I could potentially drop something like this in the water. So having something that is waterproof, to me, that is, a, that is a nice feature right there. The weight of this bad boy comes in at 8.43 ounces. And for those of you in the rest of the world, outside of the United States, that comes at 239 grams. The length from tip to tail, you're looking at 5.87 inches, 149 millimeters. The head diameter right across the top here is at 1.54 inches, which is about 39 millimeters. And getting down here into the body of the unit, you're looking at 1.03 inches or about 26 millimeters. So let's move on into the heart of this flashlight, which is gonna be the battery. This is a 21700 rechargeable lithium ion battery. It's 3.6 volts. It's 5,000 milliamp hour. That's the heart of this bad boy. Now the thing that I really like about this charger cord is the fact that it is USB. That means it only uses five volts at a two amp draw. That's really important when you're dealing with an off-grid battery system. And in fact, that's kind of really what I've set my whole entire system up in my van is for everything to run off of USB charging. It's small, it's compact, it is a magnetic charge cord. So it snaps on and off right to the back of the flashlight. You're charging in a jiffy. When you need your flashlight in a hurry, pop that thing off, you're good to go. Charges from a dead battery all the way to full charge in five and a half hours. That's not too bad for a very minimal charging system. Now the other cool thing that I like about being able to charge your flashlight from USB is the fact that nowadays for charging our cell phones, we have these pocket sized portable USB charging devices. And it's actually great for charging up or powering lots of other USB powered devices, including your Warrior X Pro or several other of the Olight flashlights. Plug this thing right into the anchor battery, slap the other end right to the end of your flashlight, and guess what, voila. You're charging your flashlight while it's sitting at the picnic table, next to the campfire, or wherever you may find yourself out in the woods. This right here would certainly extend the battery life of your Olight flashlight while on the go. 
So now when we get into the operation of this particular flashlight, we've got two modes. Now mode number one is going to be a whopping 2,250 lumens worth of light, which is pretty unreal for a flashlight of this size. Now the thing about that 2,250 lumens is that it will run for two minutes at that level at which that point it will drop down to 1000 lumens and will run for 100 minutes at that level at which at that point it drops down to 300 lumens and will run for an additional 23 minutes beyond that when we go into mode number two that is just a straight 300 lumens which will operate for a whopping eight hours now it's a pretty decent time when it comes to a flashlight and 300 lumens is probably about the standard power of light that you'll find in a regular flashlight. Now the other thing that is important when we start getting into comparing specifications between different flashlights, it's not just about lumens, there's also the term called candela. Now the candelas is what describes the intensity of the beam, so how hot of a spot this light creates, which also lends to the throw of the light. Now that's where the Olight really stands out compared to some of the other flashlights on the market. There are some other flashlights on the market that do tout more lumens and actually run at that higher lumens for a longer amount of time. However, they do not have the distance, but the candela on the Warrior X Pro is quite significant, sitting at 90,000 candela. In fact, this thing at its highest setting at a full charge will throw that beam 600 meters that's a pretty damn good distance when it comes to lighting up an area if you've got yourself an emergency or you really need to see what's going on out there ahead of you. And then of course when you drop down to the 300 lumen setting, your throw isn't quite near as far. You're looking at about 220 meters at the 300 lumen setting. So when it comes to the operation of this particular light, it has what is referred to as a tail switch. Right here on the end of the light is the button that's going to turn the light on and off and that is also what is going to switch between the two modes. Now to get to mode number one, which is gonna be your highest setting, do a full press and you're at the 2,250 lumens. Push it once more again and it's off. To get to mode number two, which is the straight 300 lumens, that's where you just do a half press before the click and there you've got 300 lumens. Half push it again and you're off. Now this is another cool feature that I've never actually seen integrated to any of my previous flashlights, but this has a vibration function built into it, and it's actually a battery charge indicator. When the battery charge gets down to 30%, it will vibrate once every five minutes, so it's gonna notify you in your hand, you'll feel a little bzz, bzz. Then when it gets down to a 10% charge, it's gonna vibrate once every minute. And then when you're all the way down to a 5% charge, it's gonna vibrate once every 10 seconds. So that's a pretty cool, unique feature, I'd say right there to let you know when your battery's going dead. You know, it seems like in several other flashlights that I've had in the past, anytime it comes with a sheath, it feels like it's just kind of a chintzy throwaway type of sheath. But this one from Olight actually seems to be quite robust. I feel like this one would actually withstand the true test of time and any sort of van life adventure that I might take it on. It's got a magnetic clip here on the front of it, so that's quick and easy. It's easy access to get in it, and then when you wanna close things up, you just get it within the vicinity and it snaps nice and solid close. It's kind of a hard shell to it, both top and bottom and kind of the body of the sheath. So that's good for protecting your equipment. Most of the ones I see are kind of flimsy and they just come all in the package all wrinkled up. So I feel like this one will actually do fairly well. On the back, you've got a couple different options. Run your belt through like standard, right through the bottom here. Hooking it up to any sort of melee system, different melee straps and stuff like that, maybe through a pack. You can loop this through and it'll snap over the top and it's got Velcro to hold it in place. On the back here, it's got a loop, so if you wanted to do a carabiner to a belt loop or something like that, you could hang it nicely from a belt loop or any sort of pack like that. The flashlight does fit in it head down, and it's got a little bit of a detent, which actually seems to hold the flashlight snugly in place. The other thing that I noticed is that it will fit in this way. It's a little bit looser, which could be great if you're just cruising around camp and you just want easy access. You can just flip this thing open and it's a quick grab right out of the sheath. 
I can't necessarily say that I would carry the flashlight in the sheath all the time, but if I was working around camp, cooking a meal, and I wanted quick access to my flashlight, I would definitely throw this sheath on my belt and have it on my hip. Well, we definitely covered some great benefits of this here flashlight and how it can help us be more prepared whether we're up in the wilderness, in the woods, camping in the snow, the rain, or even just your daily commute to and from work. It's a nice compact flashlight that would fit nicely into everyday life. Now the cool thing that's coming up, Olight is actually going to do a flash sale to launch the release of these two limited edition colors, this desert camouflage and the gunmetal gray. So for one day only, you can actually go on and for this flash sale, you can receive up to 30% off. Like I said, it is limited edition, so it's only while supplies last. Once they're gone, they're gone. So definitely get on and check it out. I will go ahead and throw a link to this flash sale. It'll be down in the description below. Now this link is an affiliate link, so a portion of your purchase does come back to me here at the Living the Van Life YouTube channel and helps me continue to be able to push this channel forward and bring you guys more content. So by clicking that link, you're definitely helping out the channel and I appreciate that. If you're anything like me and you're interested in any of the other items in the Olight product lineup, as an additional bonus, you can use the coupon code VANLIFE, which is all one word and receive up to 10% off of any non-sale item when you make a purchase on the website. All right, guys, it's about time for me to call it a night. It was fun hanging out with you guys. We got to talk about cool flashlights and keeping yourself prepared because we never know what kind of situations we're gonna find ourselves in, whether it's a daily commute or an adventure up into the woods. We always gotta be prepared. For those of you that are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you do decide to hit that subscribe button, I much appreciate it. But don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button because that is what's gonna notify you anytime new videos are uploaded here to the Living the Van Life YouTube channel. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure and leave those in the comments section down below. For those of you subscribers that have been with me for a while now, thank you so much for all of your support. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. All right guys, until the next adventure, peace out, keep on trucking.